Hello and welcome to A Light for the Nation, your daily devotional program brought to you by the Catholic Church. My name is Tony Abba. Today we are looking at the topic, Don't Stay Away. To guide us in today's reflection, we have Reverend Father Colin Sahigbe. Today we are looking at the topic, Don't Stay Away. Let us have a short prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the love you have shown us. We thank you for the gift of the church. Give us the grace to always remain in the community of believers so that we will grow in our faith. We made these prayers through Christ our Lord. Our discussion today is Don't Stay Away. We take our reading from Hebrew chapter 10, verse 25. We should not stay away from our severing, as is the custom of some, but encourage one another. And this is all the more, as you see, the day drawing near. The word of God is telling us not to stay away from the assembly of believers. But today I want to share with you on the need to stay not the, the things you are not to stay away from. Do not stay away from the assembly of believers. Why? Because the Bible tells us that faith comes from hearing the word of God. Romans 10. So when you hear the word of God, when you are in the assembly of believers, the word of God will be ministered to you. And your, your faith will grow. So faith is a, is, is a gift that is given through the, the, the Christian community. So that together we strengthen one another. Together we encourage one another. Life is not easy. Life is difficult. But when you are in the, in the assembly of those who have faith in God, those who have confidence in God, when you are constantly fellowship with people who have faith in, confidence in God, your own faith will grow. And you overcome your trials. And sometimes, in the assembly of believers, we get help. Not just spiritual help, also, even social help, counseling. You may be down. You're having problems with your marriage. And a brother in the assembly will counsel you on how to handle your marriage. That brother may be living a happily married life. But because you are in the garden of the uh, believers, you have someone who will share in your troubles. Someone who will share in your trials. So this is very, very important. That is why we should not stay away from the assembly of believers. There are many benefits we gain from being in the assembly of believers. Another benefit we gain from being in this assembly of believers is that each, each and every one of us, we, be, we become more and more peaceful. We, we gain the spirit of joy and calmness. Because in the assembly of believers, you will see how to live our lives. You can see people, men and women, who are striving to live a life of integrity. Among the brethren, there are those that will inspire you, that will, those that will, that will encourage you. They become your icon. They become your mentors. So those people, they will give you an opportunity that, for you to imitate. So that coming into the assembly of the believers, there is nothing you have to lose. You have everything you to gain. So that iron sharpen iron. When you have brothers, you are working with brothers in a fellowship or in the Christian community, they will encourage you, you will encourage them, together we will grow together. And it is also in the Christian assembly, on the assembly of believers, that you also gain, you have people of integrity that will enable you, that you can trust and depend on. Wonderful friendship, most of the time, come from the assembly of believers. So when you, are you, when you are in the assembly of believers, together you will both strengthen one another. We need it for the journey of life. So don't stay away from the gathering of the believers. Now, when you are in the gathering of believers or assembly of believers, you also need to know to be on your own. Some people, they, when they come to the assembly of believers, they are on their own. They don't join any society in the church. They are not in any fellowship. They are not involved in a service team. They are not involved in a welfare committee. All they are is that they come to church. After, after the service of mass, they go away. You are drawing back. Don't draw back means that you are committed to the gathering of the believers. You are, com you are fully involved, body, soul, and spirit. Financially, you are committed. Physically, you are committed. Psychologically, you are committed. Socially, you are committed. So you don't draw back. Say, oh, this is my own. Your life is not about you. So don't draw back from sharing with believers. When you read Acts of Apostles, at the beginning of Christianity, chapter 2, you hear the believers, they share things in common. Some sold their houses and they brought the resources. And together, what did they do? They, they ate together and share everything together. So you can be in the, in, the, in the church, but you are drawing back because of your lukewarm attitude. 
You are drawing back because you are not committed. When the pastor will say, there's a widow in our midst, or the priest will announce that there's a, a man in our midst who need help. And after, the, um, after mass, you run home because you don't want to help. When you help that person, when you save that person, you are saving yourself. But when you run away, you are drawing back. Because we have a duty to care for one another. We have a duty to love one another. We have a duty to support one another. Together, we are on a journey. We are going to heaven. So Paul says that we should love one another, especially among the believers. So we should care for everyone, whether they are Christian or not. We should love everyone. But believers should get special attention in our lives because they are fellow brothers and sisters. So don't draw back in, love, in the assembly of the brothers. Don't draw back in your in commitment. Don't draw back in, in showing care to your neighbor who are suffering, who are going through, uh, through pain. Let us have a short prayer. Almighty and ever living God, I thank you for your love. Thank you for your faithfulness. Help us to be committed to the assembly of the believers. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Reverend Father Colin Sahigbe is of the order of preachers guiding us in today's reflection. I believe you have learned how to unite with one another as Christian family and as a Christian brothers and sisters. But if you have question or suggestion you want to share with us, please send us a short message on the numbers showing on your screen or send us an email at ctvnigeria.yahoo.com or post us a comment on our Facebook page. Let us help one another to belong to this assembly of one another like the Bible enjoined us to do. Bye for now. And